Zambia reopens border with Tanzania to cargo after COVID-19 closure. Zambia reopened its NACON border with Tanzania on Friday for cargo after a five-day closure of the key transit point for copper and cobalt exports and fuel imports, but people were still not allowed to cross, a provincial minister told Reuters. President Edgar Lungu had shut the border on Sunday after the town of Nakon recorded 76 cases of COVID-19, the respiratory disease caused by the new coronavirus, the highest number registered by Africa's number two copper producer in a day. China to put U.S. firms including Apple, Boeing on the unreliable list, Global Times, China is ready to put U.S. companies including Apple, Boeing, Qualcomm, Cisco on an unreliable entity list as part of a series of countermeasures against a U.S. plan to block shipments of semiconductors to Chinese telecom firm Huawei, according to a report of Global Times on Friday, citing a source close to the government. The report said the Chinese government will launch investigations and impose restrictions on U.S. companies such as Apple in suspending the purchase of Boeing airplanes. China will launch an online shopping festival to promote intangible cultural heritage ICH, products on the upcoming Cultural and Natural Heritage Day, which falls on June 13 this year. Multiple e-commerce giants and retail platforms, such as Alibaba, JD.com, Suning, Pinduoduo, and Meishuan, will participate in the festival, selling a variety of quality goods and handicrafts from ICH units, enterprises, and workshops.